Yeah, is asking gun retailers to record video and audio of all firearm sales. And as Chris Nagayan reports, the move comes less than a month after the deadliest mass shooting in the area. Tonight, San Jose is drawing attention across the nation after becoming one of the largest cities in America to mandate videotaping of gun purchases. These measures are primarily focused on ensuring that those with prior criminal records, uh, those who are the subject of restraining orders with domestic violence, et cetera, are not able to get guns. The new law, which was unanimously approved by the city council Tuesday night, aims to prevent the illegal practice of straw purchasing, which is when someone buys a gun for another person who is barred from doing so. The ordinance also requires retailers to keep recordings for at least 30 days, giving law enforcement a chance to collect evidence they might need to solve gun crimes. In Sacramento, the Firearms Policy Coalition, which advocates for gun rights, called the new law Orwellian-like, saying in a statement, our legal team is already engaged in pre-litigation research and preparations for the San Jose gun control matter and is authorized to litigate any and all viable challenges to defend the fundamental individual rights of San Jose residents and visitors. City Attorney Nora Freeman addressed some of these concerns during the council meeting. These types of laws are challenged often, but, um, but we think we've threaded the needle on this and, and what we bring forward is, is defensible. The ordinance is one part of the mayor's 10-point gun control plan, which has gained more traction since last month's mass shooting at a VTA rail yard. And while the majority spoke in favor of the new law during public comment, at least one person who didn't provide their name was against it. This is nothing more than another thinly veiled attempt to completely eliminate gun ownership and the constitutional right of law-abiding citizens to defend themselves. Tragedies like the one at the VTA to which you are attempting to respond will not be eliminated by this regulation. This fall, the council will also consider a separate proposal that would require gun owners to carry liability insurance and pay a fee to cover taxpayer costs connected to firearm violence. In San Jose, Chris Wynn, ABC 7 News. Well, the U.S. House of Representatives voted yesterday